start the third quarter. It's been Indiana's undoing lately as Smith finds some space. The shot fake, and Smith draws the foul. Well, this is just going to be one of those heavyweight type of battles. You've got so much talent and so much size in the post. Yeah. It's been a physical matchup so far. 12 seconds in, we've seen Alyssa Smith taking hard contact there above the shoulders. Yeah, the wings came out in a, a long 2-3 defense there, trying to really uh, make the fever work. You know, they had a great job uh, ending that, that second quarter. Uh, but being able to get in there and go right back to the paint, I think, was a real smart move for Christy Sides group. Smith is... Still slow to get up. Now making her way back over here to head athletic trainer Todd Champlin. Fever. And the Fever will take a timeout. Assuming they called this a shooting foul, Melissa Smith is going to have to take the free throws to stay in this game. So the Fever are going to try to get her worked on. Todd Champlin, the trainer, we'll see if she's back at the line when we return. Good to see a smile on the face of Melissa Smith if she is still squinting in that right eye. Here's a look at what happened. She was driving into Macau and it was actually Santu Sabali. Swiped her across the face. And this was an important timeout for Indiana because if Smith couldn't take these free throws, she couldn't be in the game. Now we'll see if she stays in. With one eye, knocks down the first free throw. Impressive. <laughs> WNBA's Commissioner's Cup presented by Coinbase is an in-season competition with bonus money, charitable contributions, and bragging rights on the line. Fever are playing for the Wheeler Center for Women and Children. For every win in the Commissioner's Cup, the Fever receive a $2,000 donation. That championship is on August 15th. So the Fever will take a foul, and they will pull Melissa Smith. One of two from the free throw line. Is that right eye still very clearly bothering her? She will go right back into the skillful hands of Todd Champlin. They're on the sideline and continue to get some work. And that was called a transition take foul. A situation like that is so rare. But 